Now is your chance. Slam dunk. Wait, wait. <clears throat> I changed my mind. The doom howitzer was destroyed. Heroes always turn and up in the unlikeliest of places. A princess who saw her world crumbling apart. Become, became her own hero and saved the four kingdoms. Sakachi Empire at long last freed from the rule of a tyrant. Winter hole, winter down. Some things never change. Insectia, back in business. Adept collapse, friends restored. The Heartless Abyss, a new adventure, a new adventure on the horizon. Bramble Flat, all the friends stick together. The Villainy Museum, a new exhibit. Micro City, where it all began. I hope he's still out there somewhere. He may be a villain, but he came through for his friends in the end. I wish to apologize for my previous actions. No, it's fine, Mac. What about us, huh? You want to give Mac Apple another try? Oh, Mac, sweetie, no. No, no, no. Not a chance. But it's very sweet of you to offer. Now, both. Nefarious. Also, by the way, just not to be too much heartless, I did read the very last note in my original video. Thanks again, none of this would have been possible without your generosity. I hope you enjoy the game. Special thanks goes to Jesse Watson. More thanks go to my parents in memory of Anand. Senior Asia, one of my best friends, a guy could have... Uh, rest in peace, brother. Defeating Becky's final boss fight is not impossible. It's just too much infuriating. Things got a little out of hand, did they not, boss? A little. I cannot believe the plan fell apart like that. Losing gracefully is part of the complete villain package. I guess it is. So, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. I'm docking your pay, but we're cool. Oh, boats. <laughs> we'll come back with a better plan. One that even friendship can't foil. In the meanwhile, I could use a vacation. You know, Crow, even if they were your friends, they were never mine. 
even if you did like the princesses, I never liked them one bit. The only princess that I liked is Vicky, no one else. And my final word is still no. I don't recommend the game one bit. Why did I record this? Just because I felt like you deserved, as my viewers, you deserved better. You deserved a victory coming from my own side. After I calmed down, the ashwakanda pills do miracles. So yeah, final boss fight again against Bicky. Took from me half an hour to finish. And this time for real, not as a joke. I finished Bicky finally on my own, by myself, without cheats, without anyone else's videos to help me out. This time we are literally done. And no, I did not change my opinion on the game at all. The game is still not worth playing, not worth finishing, and not worth bothering with. I simply just felt like my viewers deserved a better experience, a better uh, player all in all, and a better resolve. So yeah, there you go. I defeated Bicky. God knows how many times it took for me to finish her completely, uh, finally. And my uh, final scoring is the same. 0 out of 10, 0 out of 5. Because everything is completely fraud, and nothing is at, uh, as it seems, or as uh, adv advertised. And I still believe that the a bad ending the word that says this is where your story ends is the canon ending even if the developers may they may these uh, trolls be cursed forever believe that the good uh, anti-hero ending is the canonical one in my eyes crow one crow one in all in all I already knew Vicky would become princess, not because of the wiki, but because of fan art, believe it or not. Some fan art suggested that a crow and Vicky got married while Vicky was a still princess. That's how the idea of Vicky herself becoming a princess came to my mind. Anything else to say? Not really. But let's say that I will make sure nowadays that I will play less and less games blindly because it's very clear for me that more than uh, most, most, uh, most, probably more often than most, the games will uh, flip you with a finger and spit at your face. Undertale's mod was one of them. And this is the second game that is spat in my face. So yeah, I'm not I'm not giving another game another try. It reminds me how Solistus also was spat at my face by the very end. How the game began extremely good, and then a straw man um, style, it all broke apart. I may read the comic just out of curiosity. But this game, I will never again see it or play it. I'll just go ahead and archive it somewhere. And that's it. Am I now satisfied that I played it and finished the both endings? Yeah, I am. I am now satisfied that I finished the game both endings. Was it all a waste of time? Yeah. It was all waste of time and energy, and electricity, and space on my laptop's hard disk. Will I replay it? Never. Never again. I learned my lesson. This game is to be played only once, and that's it. Never again. 
with the filth of the virtue, friendship, honesty, and what, what not, the game literally didn't leave anything at all for me. What about the crowns and the joke box music and whatnot? It's all just collectibles if you want the achievements. That's it. So this time we are literally done. Yes, we're done. Then let's stop this recording. Nefarious, one time, never again. Arnold Mallison and uh, Starblade are hypocrites. Starblade are fraudist hypocrites who give you premises that will never come, uh, will never bear fruit. And the only reason for me to play this game was just to play the devil. Play the villain, yeah. Control the world, yeah. But it's not the canon. The canon is that you lose. Then, I'd like a refund. I played the game offline, yeah. I did play the game offline, not online. And I still feel like I deserve a refund for all the time I wasted on this trash. At least I left a lot. Yeah, I did.